The new Ukrainian cabinet has been confirmed with three foreign nationals among the new ministers. All three foreigners were granted Ukrainian citizenship by President Petro Poroshenko. Georgian Alexander Kvitashvili will head the health ministry. U.S. citizen Natalie Yuresko is the new finance minister. Ivaris Abramavishis is now minister for the economy. He had these words to offer to parliament. Ukraine is the poorest, most corrupt country in the world. It's 112th in the rankings for ease of doing business. We must act quickly and severely using the most radical methods. Ukraine's prime minister hailed a new era for the country. We have a difficult mission, a historical mission, but historical responsibility gives us a historical chance. We have a historical chance to create a new Ukraine. We will not simply use this chance, we will fulfill it. Pavlo Klimkin, meanwhile, will remain foreign minister. Pavlo Klimkin headed the foreign ministry in July. During half a year, he proved he is the proper person at this position at the proper time. I can firmly say I am satisfied with the work of the foreign ministry and see that society has no complaints to him. There are no grounds to change the minister now. The Ukrainian parliament voted to keep Stepan Poltarak as defense minister. Poltarak was already acting minister, having taken up the post six weeks ago when his predecessor resigned after the Ukrainian military suffered heavy losses during fighting against a Kremlin-backed insurgency in East Ukraine. With the new ministers now in place, Ukraine's parliament will next meet on Thursday.